Hey guys, it's November 25th, 2023, and we want to look at the fundamentally sound stocks moving up from their annual low price for the week of November 20th through 24th. So, as you know, I like to start with the hollow S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the NASDAQ move because those three represent the market in its entirety. So we like to see which way the market was moving first and then which way our stocks, our fundamentally sound stocks on our watch list were moving. So as we see, the S&P 500, or in this case, the SPY, we see that it's moved up for the fourth week in a row. It was a slight move up this week, but it moved up nonetheless. We see the same thing with the Dow. It moved up a little more than the SPY, but it moved up this week for the fourth week in a row. And we see the NASDAQ, it dropped a little, um, maybe on Friday, but it was a positive week for it this week as well. So it moved up for the fourth week in a row. So we're not sure if going into this next week is going to be another move forward or if things are going to go back a little. Even when we're in a bullish market, even when the market is moving up, things move up, move up, move up, then they take a step back, then they move back up further, they take a step back. So we're not sure if this coming week is going to be one of those step backs or if it will continue to move forward. But that's how I was feeling last week and it moved forward this week. Having said that, let's begin with our watch list. And first we have Waters Corporation. Now, for those subscribed to the channel, you should already know, I break my, the stocks on the watch list down into three tiers. Three star is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is a little beneath that, still fundamentally sound, but not as sound as the three star. And one star is the least fundamentally sound, still fundamentally sound, but the least of the three tiers. Waters Corporation is a one star. Now, Waters Corporation is currently at $280.39. They moved up. If we can look over here to the right, we see that in the last four weeks, they moved up three of those four weeks. However, if we go to Yahoo Finance, now if you guys look at some of my analysis videos in the channel, you'll see that I do my own breakdown of how high I feel the stock's price can go based on the P.E. ratio, but Yahoo's analysts also have an analysis. And for simplicity's sake, when I do these videos, I usually provide Yahoo's analysis of how high they feel it can go. But if you watch my my analysis on it, I have a different way, which is the P ratio. And any of the stocks that you guys see me mentioning in these videos, if you want my analysis, please just drop a comment asking for it by the ticker name or stock name or company name, I should say. And I will do the analysis and leave it in the channel. Um... You, this is something you want to take advantage of. I personally don't invest in any stock I haven't analyzed, and I would feel you should do the same thing. 
So, in any event, Yahoo's analysis says that this stock is going to go as high as $267.06 in the next 12 months. Well, it's already past that. It's already at $280.39. That's why I say when Yahoo provides their analysis, even when I provide my analysis, we're basically giving you estimates of how high we feel the stock can go based on certain factors, but that's not a guarantee. It may go higher, it may move lower. There's no guarantee with these things, but it's based on something solid that they feel that reason, and it's based on something solid why I may feel that reason. But in any event, they've already moved past where Yahoo analysts say they will go. Will they go much further or will they move down? We have yet to see. Atreon Corporation. Atreon Corporation at $304 a share. Yahoo actually doesn't provide an analysis on how how they feel this one can go. But Atreon Corporation's at $304 a share. They really haven't began moving up. But they were moving down, down, down. Now we see a little flicker of a green candle. And our question is, are they going to move sideways at this point? Are they going to finally start to move back up? Now, if we look up here, we notice that this stock, look right around here. Look right around here. We notice this stock was easily, in 2022, over $700 a share. Now it's down to $304 a share. And it's the, is it moving sideways? Is it going to continue to move down? Or is it going to start moving back up at this point? Um, we want to look at the next couple of weeks and see what happens with Atreon Corporation. Now, at the same time, this company gives a dividend. And for all of those who own shares, not with an option, you don't get the dividends if you own the option, but if you own shares prior to November 30th, then you will be eligible for that dividend. And the dividend is $2.20 a share. And it's a three-star company. Next, we have Dollar General. They're a two-star. They are currently at $125.51 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $132.33 a share. We come to Hibbit. In the sports, sort of like the models you know of. Um, Hibbit is currently at 59. They're a one star. They're currently at $59.12 a share. Of the last four weeks, they've moved up in three of those weeks. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they will move up to $68.75 a share. We have Target. Target is a one star. They're currently at $131.46 a share. 
and Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $148.19 a share. Now, since there's a little room to where they currently are, and where Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to, it's around $17. I decided I'd pro provide an options price as well. So for an option on Charles Schwab, with an expiration of March 15th, remember it's November right now, November 25th. So with an expiration of March 15th, almost four months, and a strike price of $130, you could get an option for $945. Now, the option prices I'm going to be mentioning in here are a little high. The reason for that is because when I get an option, I want two things. First, as far as the expiration, I want it to be far out. I want, even if I'm holding the option for a week, I want to get an expiration that's three months out, four months out. So it gives me time so my option doesn't expire. And then having expired, it expires worthless or losing value. The other thing I want is I want an option that's at least at the money. That means where the strike price is for the option is at or near where the price is for the stock currently. And currently this stock is at $131.46. This strike price is $130. So the price for this option would be around $945. I say around because you could request to get it cheaper. And the, it may get filled, but it may take a little time. Maybe it won't get filled. But if you definitely want it filled, the latest ass price I saw was $945. Keysight Technologies. <laughs> As I told you guys, I was going to start including options prices in this um, this week's stocks winners. Well, now that I've started providing option prices, I actually said, you know what, let me step my foot back into the ring and get some options. So after I announced it to you guys, I, I got an option on Keysight Technologies last week. I believe I bought it for around maybe 800 no, maybe around $900. I can't remember exactly. But in any event, the next day the market opened, a little while went by. And what happened? The option lost $200 in value in that one day. Now, by the next day, it made back up $100. So at this point, I'm down by $100 on the option. I'm still holding it. I didn't sell it yet. I'm down by $100 on it. But if you look at this chart, what you'll notice is the stock price moved up this week. So it's not as if the option went down because the stock price went down. The stock price actually went up, but the option lost value. It may have been because of time value. It may have been because it came closer to expiration. I couldn't find a three month, so I had to get like a two month but in any event i'm still holding it i still want to see what happens with keysight technologies and now um 
we we're just short of three months with this one because we only um expiration around that time that was available was February 16th but if you get a February 16th option with a hundred and thirty five dollar strike price the ask price for that is $740. That's what the option will cost you. On Schwab, bear in mind, different brokers may have different prices for these options. So, the stock price, the stock is a three star. Our highest rate is tier, rated tier. The stock price is $136.04. But Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $162.36 in the next 12 months. Tootsie Roll. I remember Tootsie Roll from school as a little kid. Well, they, they're still around, and they sell other, other products or candies or whatever as well. In any event, Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for Tootsie Roll, but they are a one star, and they were moving sideways for a few weeks, probably for like a couple of months. Now the last two weeks they've been moving up. Kraft Heinz. You may own a product of Kraft Heinz. Check your ketchup. Your ketchup may be made by them. They sell other food products as well. In any event, they've moved up three of the last four weeks. They are currently at $34.87. But um, Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $37.30. And they're giving a dividend if you own them before November 30th, which is a few days away. And the dividend will be $0.40 cents a share. L3 Harris. L3 Harris is a one star. They're currently at $191.01 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $220.95. They've they were sort of moving sideways for a few weeks. They moved up a little this week. We want to see what they do going into next week. An option for L3 Harris with an expiration of February 16th and a strike price of $190 would cost $980. Norfolk Southern Corporation, their railroad. They um, are currently at $215.86 a share. They were moving sideways a little. They moved up the last two weeks. Yahoo analysts estimate that they will move up to $224.65. Agilent Technologies, they are a three-star. They moved up, wow, they moved up the last couple of weeks, but significantly this last week. And they are currently at 126.62. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 129.75, which, if Yahoo is correct, means they're about near their top for this year. But if you're intending on holding them long term, 
then just this year is not a factor. Paycom software. Paycom is a three star. They're currently at $178.49 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $203.73 a share. Remember, Paycom is the ones who dropped $90 in one day. And as soon as they did, because they're a solid company, as soon as they did that, investing world went crazy. I dropped a video, a couple of videos that I dropped one video that day. What happened to Paycom to explain what exactly happened to them? And the next day, I dropped the video with the analysis on Paycom, so you could see how fundamentally strong this company is. They're a three star. Um. In any event, Paycom just gave a dividend. It Well, they didn't give the dividend, I should say. They went ex-dividend yesterday, November 24th, which means you would have had to own it by November 23rd at least to be eligible for this dividend. But these companies usually pay dividends every three months. So you'd be in line if you get it at this point for the next one, but not for this one. In any event, they're getting ready to give a dividend of 37 cents a share. And for an op for an option on Paycom with a February 16th expiration and a strike price of a hundred and eighty dollars, a little bit below a dollar fifty below where it is now. The ass price is one thousand four hundred and twenty dollars. Pigeon NV, another three star. They're currently at $40.89 a share, and Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $47.22. Now, one thing I, I should mention, I like to buy stocks and tell you guys about stocks that are fundamentally sound and coming off of their annual low price. I like to buy them when they're at their or a little above their annual low price. Some of these stocks are moving up. So I will be removing them from the watch list in the next, well, probably by next week, you won't see some of these stocks anymore. Not because they're not good stocks to buy, but simply because they've moved up far enough for me to remove them because I want to get things coming up off of their annual low prices and fundamentally sound. So like we said, Kijin, $40.89. It's three-star. Yahoo analysts estimated going up to $47.22. Genuine Parts Company, dealing auto parts, please. They're a two-star. They're at $137.40. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $153.64. They've been positive the last four weeks, but this last week was just pretty much a doji. It's in positive territory, but it really didn't move up much. An option for General Parts Company with a February 16th expiration and a $135 strike price would cost around $690 on Schwab. UPS, United Parcel Service. 
They were two starved. They're currently at one hundred and fifty-two dollars and three cents a share. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to one sixty-three sixty-seven. Zebra Technologies, they're a three star, currently at $228.92, $228.92. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $265.67. An option with a February 16th expiration and $230 strike price would cost $1,690. Helenova, they are one of the split offs from Kellogg, who used, Kellogg used to make cornflakes and a bunch of other cereals. Well, Kellogg split into three companies. One of them is the cereal division, split into a separate company. They had a health food division. They split into a separate company. And then Kelanova became the snack division. Why did they do that? Because the other two divisions were underperforming. So, they split them into three to separate the division that's performing the best, which is Kelanova. Kelanova makes Pringles, a bunch of other snacks, and things like that. So, they split them into three. My assumption is that the other two divisions will eventually be sold off. I have no reason for believing that. Well, I have no evidence of that. I have reason for believing it. I have no evidence of it. But in any event, that's what I feel. So that's Kellanova. They're two star, $53.47 a share. Yahoo analysts feel they can go as high as $56.75 the next 12 months. Quest Diagnostics. Quest Diagnostics is a two-star laboratory. They're a two-star. They've moved up. Well, actually, two of the last five weeks, they really moved up. But after those two weeks, they've been moving a little sideways, but a little, a little diagonal sideways, I would say. They're currently at $135.54 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they'll move up to $142.43 a share. McCormick and Company. They're a no star. Maybe I added them because I was a little emotional about them. I don't know. Anyway. If you have black pepper in your house in a can, look at the can. Maybe they're made by McCormick. McCormick is at $66.44 a share. And Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $76.54 in the next 12 months. If you want the analysis on McCormick, drop a comment comment asking for it and I will provide it in the channel. And the same for any of these stocks if you want the analysis. LKQ Corporation. They are a one star. They're currently at $45.84 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $62.75 in the next 12 months. And they've been positive for the last four weeks. Idacorp. They're a two-star. 
sort of moving in a sideways pattern. We want to see what happens going into this next week. But they're near what Yahoo analysts feel is the top as well. They're at $97.26 a share. Yahoo analysts feel that they can move up to $104.71 a share in these next 12 months. Citigroup. If you're familiar with Citibank, we have Citigroup. They're at $52, they're at $45.23 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $52.25 a share. Now, banks use money to make money, which means every free penny that a bank has they'll loan it out to make money from the interest. That's why they traditionally have pretty shaky or bad balance sheets. Not, well, I would, I'd say not great balance sheets. And that would be a reason why I would have this ranked as a one star. I'd have to look at the analysis again. There could be a couple of other things, but Pretty much with banks, it usually comes down to balance sheets. Iogen, they're a three star. We see some room there. They're currently at $231.95 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $323.48. The last two weeks have been positive, but they really haven't started their move up yet. We want to look into next week or the next couple of weeks, see what happens. Now, as far as the option. If you get an April 19th option for Biogen with a $230 strike price on Schwab, it will cost you, the ask price would be $2,130. However, I recently posted a video on the channel speaking about bid and ask price in relation to stocks and options and saying if you want to buy something immediately, you would have to put up the ask price and you'd be able to get it immediately. If you want to sell something immediately and not have to wait, you'd have to put up the bid price and you'd be able to sell it immediately. So, if you buy something, the ask price is the price you can offer to immediately buy it. The bid price is the price you can offer to immediately sell it. So when you're looking to buy these things, you don't want to just look at the price for the stock. You want to look at the ask price. And you want to look at the bid price as far as selling it. With this option, if I was to buy it right now, I can't, obviously, it's the weekend, but if it was Monday and I was to buy this option right now at the ask price I have here, it would cost me $2,130. And if I changed my mind, I said, you know what? I made a mistake. Let me sell this. I said that one minute later and sold it back. I would only get back $1,860. So when you're buying and selling things, particularly 
options. You want to look at the bid and the ask price. And if they're spread too far apart, you may not want to get them. If I'm looking to get an option and there's a $50 spread between the bid and the ask price, I'm okay. If there's up to a $100 spread between the bid and the ask price, I could probably live with that too. But if there's a $300 spread, I'm not sure if I'm in for that. Because what that means is, even if the option moves up by $300 and you sell it, you just broke even. You didn't make any profit. So you want to look at the spread between the bid and the ask price. Another time that you want to look them, look at them is if you're buying stocks. If you're buying stocks, the difference between this ask and the bid may be ten cents and maybe nine cents and maybe five cents and maybe two cents. But now they have these platforms which allow you to do after hours trading. That means trading before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and trading after 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, if you're going to buy or sell things in after hours trading, you really want to look at the spread between the bid and the ask. During market hours, the spread between the bid and the ass may be eight cents. But when you go into off hours, you may see the spread between the bid and the ask is a dollar fifty, two dollars. And it doesn't come back to normal until market hours resume. So just my little spell on bid and ask. But there's a video in the channel that you can look to look at to understand it more. American Water Work Company. They're a one star, currently at $132.06. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $147.60. Medtronics. Medtronics provides medical devices and so forth. They're a three star. Currently at $78.97. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $90.15. PepsiCo, you all know PepsiCo, they sell Pepsi as well as a bunch of other drinks, snack, um, snacks, and so forth. They're currently getting ready to give a dividend. That dividend will be $1.26 a share. You have to own the stock before November 30th to be eligible for it. And although they're currently at $140 a share, Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $189.08. Middle B Corporation. They're a three star, they're a manufacturer, but what they manufacture is cooking utensils and equipment and so forth for restaurants. They're at $125.24 a share. And Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $153.75 a share. Now, if you were to buy an option with them expiring on March 15th, 
with a strike price of $125. It will cost you $920. Now, I mentioned these stock prices, guys. I notice that a lot of time when I speak to people about stocks, they feel like, oh, I have to buy 100 shares, I have to buy 10 shares, I have to have this much money, or whatever the case is. If you're not familiar with this stock game, and you're just getting into it, or you're not dealing with much money, there's no shame with starting small. Middle B is at $125.24 a share. What if you just bought one share? There would be advantages to that. If I spend $125.24 on a stock and I get a 10% return on my money, that's still 10%. Whether I have 10000 in there and I get a 10% return on that, or I have 100 in there and I get a 10% return on that, it's still 10%. The other thing is when you have money in the market, you have to get familiar with things that can happen in the market. You have to get familiar with maybe an interest rate report can come out, can shake up the market a little bit or an inflation rate report can come out, or any type of economic report can come out. Maybe some news can happen. Maybe, like we've had the Ukraine war, next thing you know, we hear about Israel and Palestine, and those things can shake up the market a little bit. You have to get familiar with how the market works, and familiar with how you work. You have money that's actually in the market now. How are you going to react to that? Um, do you, do, is there any things you have to work on to have money in the market? Do you get spooked easily? What shakes you out? Are you going to be ready to jump out if you lose 2% or 20%? So I feel even if you only have $130 and you see this stock for $125, buy it. And well, I should say you feel positively about it, buy it. See what happens. Get familiar with owning things in the market. It this doesn't have to be all theoretical you can start to turn it into reality now. So just saying, don't be afraid of starting small. Just get started. Thermo Fisher Scientific. They are currently at $490.78 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $525.14 a share. They've been positive three of the last four weeks. Now, they will be going ex-dividend on December 14th. That means you have to own them before December 14th, to be eligible for this $0.35 cent dividend per share that they're about to give. An option that expires on March 15th with a $490 strike price would cost $3,110. And like I said, they are a three-star. Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty is currently at $414.72 a share. 
Yahoo analysts believe they will move up to $512.77. There are three star, their expiration, an option with an expiration of March 15th, and a strike price of $415 would cost $3,000. $430. Goldman Sachs. They're a one star. They're currently at $339.54. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $378.43. And if you own them before November 29th, you'll be eligible for a $2.75 dividend that they're about to give out per share. Dover Corporation. They're a three star. Currently $139.69 a share. Yahoo analysts believe that they can move up to $156.38. And if you buy them before November 29th, you'll be eligible for the $0.51 cents a share dividend they're about to give out. Dorman Products. They're a two-star, $72.95 a share, and Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $82 a share in the next 12 months. And they've moved up the last two weeks, although only slightly this last week. U-Haul, U-Haul Holding Company, they're two star, currently at $55.15 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $64.10 a share. Texas Instruments. There are three stars. They're currently at $153.59 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $163.05 a share. They moved, they were negative this last week, but only slightly. They pretty much held their ground. And Henry Schein, they're a two star, currently at $69.67 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $73.55 a share in the next 12 months. And this is their third positive week. Okay, guys, so that's it for our this week winning stocks. Please click on the video that I um, present to you, which is how to use this week's winning stocks, which will let you know how to use these videos to take advantage of these opportunities in the market, the best way to take advantage of them. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend and happy trading.